we're going to be talking with Diane Havinga this morning, who is our, let me get the, the title correct, Manager and Executive Producer and Director of Channel 6. We're going to find out what's going on. We are. Hi, Vaughn. Hi. <laughs> Vaughn, you said earlier, what are we talking about today? Well, we wanted to do kind of a, an update on Channel 6 because a lot of people ask me, you know, most departments come on and monthly and do an update. Why aren't you doing one? Oh, really? And I said, well, I don't know if we need to do a monthly, but, you know, every so often when something's new and exciting or we just want to point it out once again, we thought, well, okay, fine. So this happened to be one of those days. Very good. Very good. I'm glad to be hosting. <laughs> So I'm going to I'm going to kind of switch roles on you right now, okay? All right. All right. So uh, which I'm I'm known to do. Yes, but, you are. Um, <laughs> you've been volunteering for us for a while. I yes. don't have the exact um, figure, but I think you're a good example of people that we have as volunteers because you came First, as a camera person, right. which you still do, right. and now you're a host, which right. you still do. So, um, what what got you to us? What got me? Uh, probably some friends who were working here, and I got kind of fascinated. I'd never done anything like this before, and uh, I find it a lot of fun. The crew is fun to work with, and the other volunteers are fun to work with, and thoroughly enjoy it. See, there's the spokesperson I was looking for. Save <laughs> <laughs> the right answer. No, but, but seriously, I mean, that's what um, I knew you were going to be positive. Not that, <laughs> not, not that we set this up. And, but I think that's the whole point. We, we try to encourage as many residents as we can. And we do have, to a certain extent, limited spaces in terms of positions. Right. But over a month, you know, there are a lot of opportunities to come in and and volunteer as a camera person, as a host. Um, as well, a lot a, of people with technical skills are needed, aren't they? You don't need technical skills. Really? I mean, we retrain you. Oh, and, okay. and I think what's unique about us is that I, you know, if I was in Vegas <laughs> yes. and someone said, let's make a bet, I would pit a village in motion with any other professional um, program in the nation and no one would be able to say oh this is made up of you know volunteers and you know old folks <laughs> but we are <laughs> <laughs> but and, and I think the fact that you know people ask all the time well what are these these things here you know what what's this what's this all about and and we make a big deal of the telly awards and one of the reasons is because we have proven <laughs> repeatedly that we are just as good as everyone else mm -hmm. because the Tele Awards is an international video competition that we select, our, my staff and I, we select, in fact, we're in the midst of selecting our entries for this year's contest, and we pit them up against the big guys, and by big guys, I'm talking about ESPN, CBS News, um, Ofri Renfrey's network, I forget what it is, but um, Fox News, yeah. everyone else. And uh, we have been able to win um, over 25 of these. And I think it speaks volumes because we, we're doing it with people like you who have had no prior experience but have just the willingness to come and learn and, mm -hmm. and be out there. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good explanation of the Tele Awards because I'm sure people wonder, well, you know, how do you get them? Are you just up against other uh, retirement communities or not? But it's up against the, the full spectrum of TV. Exactly. And um, I always like, I would like to just say, and we do this with people who are over 80. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, and right. camera people that are over 80 versus people that, you know, if you, if you and the network shows, you know, all those people are union. And, sure. you know, they've been doing it for yeah, since however. Since they were kids, probably. probably <laughs> <laughs> some of them probably have. And, and yet we're able to, to produce the same caliber. And one of the things that I have always felt very passionate about and emphasized to, to my staff is, you know, 
people know what good television is because they see it every single moment of the day. Right. And you can't afford to do a program that isn't as good as everyone else because no one's going to watch you. Right, right. So. And then the other reason I wanted to come on is, you know, we have expanded our programming. And I'm really excited about that. Um, and one of the things we have done is with our TV guide is we've we reformatted and I'm really, you know, today it's kind of like I went to get tea and I came back without the hot water so you could tell what, where my <laughs> mind is today and I forgot a TV guide so if someone could maybe pop me a TV guide so I can I'm sure someone will so I can at least I think I see someone on the way but this is what live television is all about right but we reworked our TV guide earlier this year and we we continue to tweak it and this is where the relationship with our viewers come in handy because I get people who come in and they say Diane we're a little confused ah thank you we're a little confused this is our our uh, TV guide uh, we're a little confused about this or why 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 are you doing this and then we tweak it and so this is the latest TV guide and um, I think it we simplified it um, we've emphasized you know the topic so on page one is the programs for village in motion and then we reworked page two and page two I think again is clearer and more distinct because we have the actual dates besides Monday, you know, mm -hmm. through um, Saturday. And we've emphasized um, the programs that we um, have added. And so the big news is Friday through Sunday, we increased our programming. Uh, one of the things we did was we took all our Village in Motion encores or repeats and now we have them in one block mm -hmm. so that you're able to, if you missed a show, on Monday, but you really wanted to see it again, you can see it Saturday and Sunday. And it starts at 9.30, and they just go from Monday through Friday. There's no breaks in between. So you, you can't really say, well, at you know 10 o'clock, that's gonna be Tuesday's show. It's probably maybe somewhere, in somewhere there. between maybe 9.50 and 10.05. Mm -hmm. But by about a quarter to noon, that block is finished. And then we decided we would add faith programming. And one of the things we did was on Friday, we decided to add another um, 5 and 9 p.m. faith program. Mm -hmm. And what's really exciting about this program is that it allows um, all the faith groups who do various programs throughout the year. It's not just the religious not services, the services. Yeah. but sometimes there's concerts, sometimes there's um, um, special events. So we're able to show that nice. and, and do it more current so that you're not waiting maybe six months for the um, Christmas Eve service or, mm -hmm. or program that that happened and we're showing an example of that right now mm -hmm. so um, that's really exciting and then we've also added faith programming on the weekend so again that's where we're kind of concentrating on these special events or lectures so right now we're running I believe John Rabicki is um, talking about yeah the life of um, Eli Rizzo he's in part two for this week and we're repeating things so we're giving people more opportunities to see it and and I I always look at <clears throat> my um, competition which is you know the networks and right in cable and it dawned on me one day when I was we had just finished watching the movie on some cable channel and sure enough 60 seconds later guess what they put the same movie back on and I went <laughs> oh there's an idea so that's kind of what we started to do with the Green Spring concerts uh -huh. why why limit it to only Saturday at 8 p.m. why not add the 9 p.m. in the um, Sunday programming mm -hmm. to give people more opportunity to, to, sure. to view it. So yeah. really excited about that. And um, if, you know, anyone has thoughts or comments, please, you know, just come, come in to Channel 6, um, call us, email us. Uh, we, we do have on the TV guide, we have our um, 
my email that you can um, okay. write. Would that include uh, ideas for programs? It can be anything, right. And you know, occasionally we do put on the screen that we're looking for, for residents um, who are, who can help us with a particular program. And a good example is we're getting ready to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the U.S. entry into World War I. Mm -hmm. And so we put up a screen and lo and behold, we have about three residents who have come forward to say, yes, I could talk to you about that. So, good. so sometimes we do that, but other times, yeah, some, someone will come in and say, have you thought about doing this? Mm -hmm. Or here's a resident that I think you should interview. So we're mm -hmm. always open to that type We of have thing. some very interesting residents here. Exactly. That sort of hide in the shadows and nobody knows about them unless you talk, talk to them at dinner time. <laughs> right. And then sometimes people say, well, why haven't you interviewed that person? Well, sometimes they also decline. <laughs> decline. That's right. They For, just as soon as stay in the shadows. Right. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. So you have anything else you want to ask me before we go to our video? Well, I think we, we need an explanation of your title. Okay. Manager and Executive Producer Director. All right, so the manager part is not only am I in charge of Channel 6, but I also oversee Channel 2, which is our faith channel, our oh, chapel yes. channel, the ones in the and chapel. Channel 8, which is basically just the scroll and muse. Basically, that's all it is, is the scroll, scroll. And, and, and information, and all the AV on campus. So when something is not working correctly, we're the ones who get called. Um, so, and I encourage residents, if you go into a venue, especially the classrooms, and you go to um, hook your laptop up or you're going to, you know, watch something on a DVD and something's not working, please let us know because mm -hmm. that's the only way that we are able to fix it on a timely right. event. We do go into each room weekly to test things out, but if something's broken on Monday, you know, we may not get into that room until Friday, so unless someone has told us this room isn't working right, mm -hmm. then we, you know, it takes another yeah. maybe week or so. And if somebody so. needs to use it and is a little in the dark about how? They can just call us, uh, hopefully not the day of. <laughs> <laughs> not at 9.30 in the morning, because uh, that's pretty hard for us. But yes, um, if you know that you have an event and you know you're gonna have AV, um, no, we're not going to do it for you, but we will show you how to do it. Sure. And if you're like, well, I really don't want to, or I'm in charge of the event, can I get someone else to work the event? Then we can um, help you find volunteers to ask, but it's really whoever is that main uh, producer of that event, the organizer, it's on them to, do, to make sure they have their AV mm -hmm. taken care of. And we, we Kind of think about a two-week time frame um, before your event, right. and even if you need the refresher course, you know we're always happy to um, give you that refresher course. Okay. But in in terms of the executive producer director, I'm in charge of Village in Motion, which is our flagship program. You know we do it live, 90% of the time, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. And a lot of my time and energy is spent on putting together the Village in Motion. So I scheduled the hosts, as you know, Yvonne mm -hmm. gets a monthly um, email or sometimes a call. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes a call at 9.55. Right. <laughs> uh, but I scheduled the hosts, um, the guests. Um, sometimes I come up with the, the topic. So as you know, a lot of the monthly shows are geared towards monthly updates right. from um, various departments on campus. So I make sure that those people are going to be coming, that they, if they don't know what they're going to be talking about, I can help them with possible topics. Sometimes I'll say to say, Lynn Keith, hey Lynn, you know, I've been hearing a lot of you know, grumbling about parking. Of course, that happens all the time. Naturally. But, but I can, you know, point them into that, into the right direction in terms of that. Um, help them with graphics. Sometimes we, you know, we are able to do video um, uh, B-roll to show what the person is actually talking about. For instance, yesterday's show, when George Rallis was on for Garden Ridge, um, he talked about the groundbreaking ceremony, and we had footage of the groundbreaking ceremony. Hey, that's something to note, that uh, 
when these people come in monthly for their updates, uh, I think if people knew that they were going to be doing that, they could either contact the department that's coming in or contact you and say, I have a question for so-and-so next time they're in. Exactly. And that would help with those interviews. Right. And we have actually started expanding our call-in shows. Um, for instance, the resident council show, which is, is that tomorrow? Do, 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 do. It is tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, we modified our um, phone call procedure. So right. as uh, people may not have noticed, there is no phone call or right. no phone on the set anymore. Right. So we can instantly go to a call-in at any time. Mm -hmm. And so we've started expanding it. So the, um, Royal Counter was the first um, person who um, went ahead on his monthly board of directors mm -hmm. to encourage people to call. Uh, and tomorrow we're going to do a resident council. So that gives the residents, mm -hmm. our viewers, the opportunity, you know, if you're watching something and something all of a sudden occurs to you like, well, wait a minute, I'm confused, or why are they doing that? Mm -hmm. You can call and ask on air right. and get that answered. Right. So that's really exciting, and we're, we're trying to encourage more people who come on on a monthly basis okay. to, to be able to do that. We're about out of time. Can you? Really? Nah. <laughs> so I guess we need to do some videos. But Yes, but I think before we do that, I'd like to just mention that please don't hesitate to call in on these call-in shows, and be sure that you let yeah. Diane know if you have a question, uh, if you have a concern, because sometimes these people come in from the departments and they really don't know what your concerns are so that they know how to address them. So, uh, And they can call ahead of time or email me. Yeah. I mean, this, we, we will get, The you know, email is on the... The, the email's on the TV guide. Yeah, so, so make your voice heard because this, this is your programming and we need to meet your needs. Okay, let's have a, a little video here about what goes on behind the scenes on Channel 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Cool, stand by for server. <laughs> Motion is a live morning talk show Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, one of the neat things about being here at Korean Spring is that the residents are the volunteers that will host the show. They will run camera, they will run audio, they will run tape. Um, myself, my coworker, and our station manager will direct the shows and produce them, but the residents pretty much provide all of the hands-on crew for everything else. Uh, one of the great things about living at Green Spring is if you never worked a career in television, now that you're retired here, now's your chance. If you ever wanted to, it's no experience necessary. Uh, we show you how to do everything, and I think that you'll have a lot of fun doing it. Part of the work of getting the show ready every day involves first coming in and looking at the book that our manager Diane makes um, in planning the schedule for each day. Sometimes you might have to double check to make sure the spelling is correct and making sure that things are in the right order, but that's first starting off is checking that. I remember when I first started, I was told that this is the Channel 6 Bible, if you will, to make sure that is what's going on you know, to know what's going on. And then also from there, you create a rundown sheet that every volunteer here at Channel 6 demands to see so they know what's going on for the show. And then from there, there's typing in the graphics, planning out different roll-ins that are going on. And then sometimes it's even the occasional calling our guests to make sure they're coming. Cause sometimes they don't confirm. And even before us, the staff gets a chance to panic, sometimes the volunteers themselves start panicking to make sure they're coming because 
They like to make sure that everything of Village of Motion runs smoothly. So the music and the teams, and then you can continue to play with T1 while um, we start the silver Thanks, Dan. That's so world. clever. VT1, and go ahead and roll VT1, ready to track it, and stand by the queue and track it. Stand by the, bring it down and queue Clint, bring it down and queue him. When residents put something custom into, okay, into the unit, it, you know. A lot of the residents that do volunteer here talk about how it's a great way to stay informed because we're right here on the ground floor hearing firsthand whether you're on audio or on camera or hosting the show all the latest updates about Greenspring. And of course, if you tune into Channel 6 also, you can get all those updates. We also have a YouTube channel, uh, which you can find online to keep up with us on your phone or your tablet or a computer if you'd like to do that. If you have trouble getting Channel 6, I, you know, I hear there's been some trouble with DirecTV, just, you know, rumors. This, this is what this is. So, so when it gets a little go, silver on there, is that? Yeah, go ahead. I, you operate this. Yeah. Get the flowers coming in. Now there's another thing we can do, there's a button here we can push, it pushes us up. They're making you beautiful. Is that, <laughs> That's a hard... A nice pink shirt. <laughs> when I was just a little boy, <laughs> I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever it will be, will be. The future's not mine to hold. <laughs> I think one of the most interesting things that I'm surprised that I've gotten so attached to is the relationships that I have with some of these volunteers here. You know, when I started, I always thought, you know, I wouldn't bond too much with the with the, with the residents here, and it's amazing how these people are like um, my friends and people I tell like some secrets to and just everything about my life. I've uh, mentioned Bob Zykowicz, you know, me and him talk about mixed martial arts and um, different fights like that, and sometimes he even tries to do a spinning elbow to see if he can do it right, but you know, I gotta teach him how to do it the right way. I'm forever surprised sometimes when I walk down the hallway and residents will tell me that they don't watch Channel 6 or they'll say they only watch Channel 8 for the scroll. Um, I think that you need to watch Village in Motion. It's, it's one of the best ways to stay up to date. And like I said, if you can't tune into Channel 6 for whatever reason, you can find us on YouTube. Um, as far as I know, everything's okay with the Wi-Fi here. So if you don't know how to get us on YouTube, I encourage you to call us, come down and see us. We'll be happy to show you. We want everyone to stay informed. Channel 6 is the information highway here at uh, Greenspring, and so it's just important to stay in the loop. Okay, Diane thought of something she wanted to make a comment on. I, do, I just wanted to add one more thing. First, uh, this was the first time I saw this feature, so my staff did a terrific job. They I did. I, I um, gave them that assignment about a month ago. I said, let's let's do this. People have been asking that, what what actually happens. And I would also encourage, you know, we, you can come during the live show and sit behind in the control room and sure. watch and sure. we we've always encouraged people to do that so you can come down anytime about 9:45 if you wanted and see what goes on but i wanted to say that one of my jobs as the executive producer is to maintain the look and sound and feel of village in motion so as you know there's three staff people there's myself andrew seegers and avon price and we all direct we all take turns sometimes producing the individual shows. But if I put three of the Village in Motions together and showed you three samples, you would not be able to tell who was directing. Who was directing, you're right. And that's my job. That's why I'm, I exist, or executive producers right. exist. Right. So that over the years, we maintain that feel of Village in Motion. We may change the theme, we may change the graphics, the set, little little tweaks, but they all remain true to what we're all about, which right. is trying to give you the most up-to-date information. information. Okay.